That's All right, good. why don't we jump right into the big headline topic. Zach Nelson of Jerry Rig Everything and Dbrand of Dbrand are suing device accessory company Casetify to for copyright infringement after Casetify allegedly copied their collaborative teardown series of device skins. Now, I'm sure that your immediate reaction to this is, well, now, hold on just a gosh darn minute. How exactly is it that you could um, tr- copyright um, the, a picture of the inside of a phone? Right? Like, that doesn't really make sense. Yeah. Dbrand didn't make the phone. Zach wasn't the first person to take the back cover off of a phone. How does that, how does that make sense? Well, here's the thing. If you watch Zach's video, sorry, I'm just going to call him Jerry Rig Everything. Because that's, you know, the channel name. So many people think his name is Jerry. His name is not Jerry. His name is Zach. I'm so sorry to <laughs> burst your bubble. Anyway, if you watch, no, I can't do it. If you watch Zach's video, the, he walks through how teardown is not just taking a picture of the phone once the back is removed. They actually go to a lot of work to take artistic liberties with it, you know, right? Like they'll they'll touch up this and they'll enhance that and they will, hmm, you know what? We'd actually really like it if the copper was showing on the charging coil. Let's let's uh let's expose that copper and then let's composite that back onto it so really it's it's more like a a a a digital creation separate from just a picture of the back of the phone without the back on it um and part of this process because you know it's dbrand and dbrand memes is that they added a number of in jokes and easter eggs to the artwork. Ooh. Yeah. That's a little damning. So here's the thing. Back in March, Case Defy was selling a similar series of skins, but instead of going to the work of getting phones and taking them apart, which is a hassle, you need a heat gun. Maybe, maybe like a pry tool from iFixit. Like an iFixit kit. I mean, yeah. that'll cost you. Hold on a second. <clears throat> I actually, I actually think I get it. Here, look, guys. Uh, look, it's Black Friday right now, so this yep, is not yep. this is not fully representative, right? Like this would be even more expensive if I were to get a ProTac bundle. That would be ninety seven dollars and ninety nine cents. That is that is Canadian dollars. So like four American dollars. Yeah, um, and and it would be maybe twenty percent more than that for a company the size of Case Defy. I can see how That's that would much. be that would be an unreasonable expense. Yeah. I'm what I'm going to spend a uh, $100 from some weird beaver country and I so to be able to take apart a phone? No, I I yeah, I think I actually I, I'm coming yeah, I mean, I'm coming around the, to case to five side on this. The case to five bounce extreme case costs more than that. So 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 anyway, back in March, they had a line of skins and instead of taking apart the phones which we've established is very expensive, yes. right? Um, they just used the same internal scan of an iPhone on every phone, which seems like a valid shortcut to me. I mean, if I was if I was one of those people who goes and spends you know iPhone money on not an iPhone, I'd probably I'd probably want to rock iPhone all over the back of my not iPhone, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, because I'm not you know. I'm not all counterculture, anti anti iPhone or whatever. That doesn't matter to me. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, so Dbrand mocked them for this back in March, and Case Defy. Um, you know, <laughs> I think their defense is is really gonna is really gonna boil down to, uh, you know, if if Dbrand's claims uh, end up being true that Case Defy ripped off their teardown skins, I think Case Defy's best shot at a defense is going to be something along the lines of <laughs> he made fun of me. Um, cause that seems to be a, a lot of the, a, a lot of the rationale for what came next, because in August, Case Defy was selling a series of skins far more like Teardown in, in, in which they were matching the internals of the phone that they were applied to. Uh, there are some differences between what Case Defy was selling and what Dbrand was selling. For instance, uh, Case Defy's was more expensive 
That's a bit. That's a difference. That is a difference. That um, is a major difference when it comes to purchasing. The the, the uh, image... maybe the increased qual- cost means quality. Yeah, I mean, look, I want the best one. I want the best one too. And when yeah. I and when I go for the best one, I am looking for the one that is blurrier. <laughs> That's what I yeah. want. That says quality to me. Because yeah. think about like on your TV. Do you leave the sharpness at default or do you turn it down? You turn the sharpness way down. Dude. <laughs> 100%. That's the first thing I do with the TV. I turn off any kind of motion compensation and then I turn the sharpness way down. And then for good measure, I like to take a little dollop of Vaseline, okay? petroleum jelly and i get i give that a good smear all over the screen it's like free anti-aliasing when i save something in paint.net quality of the bottom 100 if i have a jpeg on the internet i want it posted at least 50 times before i see it well look the thing is luke the thing is luke i don't even think you're taking this seriously right now because there's no way that there's no way that that would be your process if you're like me first you would set the quality to the bottom then you'd save it You'd open that file again. Oh. You'd drag the slider down. See, I've got a lot to learn. I, I, I am. <laughs> this is why I'm still able to mentor him. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm out here grinding, but I still got ways to go. So, Casetify, the main differences were that there's were lower quality, low, lower <laughs> image quality, and cost more. Um, and also, they were missing. Some of Deep Brand's <laughs> Easter eggs and um, hidden in jokes. Uh, examples of these in jokes were uh, strings of characters like R zero eight zero seven, which is robot in in leet speak, essentially. We have a giveaway. Part of D Brand's whole shtick is that the company is run by robots or whatever. Spoiler, it's not, but but that's it's a it's a cool branding thing that they do, and it's it's kind of neat. So you can see right here. Um, blurrier and definitely still present. You will not find this string of characters on any real phone ever. Uh, what's really what's really damning about this is that some of Dbrand's in jokes and Easter eggs were removed. So that is an indication that Casetify knew what they were doing. They just didn't know what they were doing very well. So another great example is this right here. This is the original dbrand skin, glasses, glass, and glass breaks. Remember, this is a collaboration with uh, Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. That's a thing he says all the time, just like uh, light scratches at six, blah, blah, et cetera, seven, et cetera. Um, over here on Casetify, we see, yep, it almost just looks like they downloaded the image off of Dbrand's website, printed it, um, and then yeah, forgot to forgot to scrub it for this. They seem to have added their own QR code here, so they've they've made obvious changes. Okay, so this said subscribe. See, they caught this. They caught the subscribe. Yeah, they replaced that with a Casetify Easter egg. But what they missed was the, the digits 11, 11, 11, which, as Dbrand points out, is the founding date of, you guessed it, Dbrand. Why would Casetify have 11, 11, 11 on their product unless they were just trying to, trying to shout out their, their competitor? <sighs> Yikes. Oh, hey, look at this. Dbrand referenced us in their, in their exhibits. I'm exhibit D. Why, why am I exhibit D? <laughs> You fucks. I want to be. I want to be exhibit A. Um, no, I don't care. So this is interesting. They they've got a little Illuminati stupid pyramid because they're into that sort of thing. You you guys probably remember the pyramid PC that we built for them, and you can see that it's like it looks like it's crying on the case to find one. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's broken, but it's definitely still there. Man, it's yeah. amazing. How low quality some yeah. of these are. That is that is kind of wild. That's rough. So this was this was part of the whole process of making these skins more than just a sticker. Um, and yeah, Dbrand sells stickers. Like, come on, realistically, sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's they're stickers, but they're good stickers. They use authentic 3M vinyl. Um, you know, a lot of the old talking points. You go back and look at like the old spots we used to do for them, where we talked about you know the unique colors because they would purchase in large enough quantities that they could have exclusive colors or whatever else. We talk about the use of authentic 3M vinyl, so it sticks really well, but doesn't leave a residue when you take it off. All that good stuff. Um, 
And this process was part of making it not just a sticker, even if it is just a sticker, but but fun. You know, something that uh, that if you if you pay attention to the tech niche on YouTube, I think that's something that dbrand does that people don't really give them enough credit for. Is a lot of brands when you engage with them, they they want you to talk about their product, they want you to pimp the product or whatever. You know, obviously everybody's everybody's out there buying advertising. Why? So that they can sell more shit, right? Like uh, you know, dbrand's no exception there. But what is exceptional is that dbrand actually, at a very, very high level within the company, cares about the tech space, follows tech creators. Like, I will, I will get questions following up about some video that had absolutely nothing to do with dbrand, that they didn't sponsor, that they were not involved in in any way and would have no desire to be involved in, but they're just curious because they thought it was a cool video or, or whatever. And it's not the kind of thing that you can fake. Trust me, as someone who has been bullshitted by every kind of agency person, you know, talking about how much I love your channel and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, you know that this is not a makeup channel, right? Like this, this, every comment this, they make about it is about like the last one or two videos. Yes. Yeah. Like you can smell it a mile away and that's not, yeah. that's not the case with them. Right. <laughs> so, um, so it, it shows how little due diligence case defy bothered to do here that they would not realize that this was a bad idea the fact that they found some of the easter eggs and didn't think uh oh we need to stop because we might have missed something that and this is going to look pretty bad just shows the brazenness yeah of this yeah um Anywho, let's uh, let's keep going. According to Zach, his content getting stolen isn't new, but the difference is that Casetify is a billion-dollar company. This is according to recent comments from their founder. I haven't actually seen the recent comments personally, but I have no real reason to distrust Zach at this point in my life. I've uh, I've done enough dealings with them that he seems, from every interaction with him, to be just completely a stand-up guy. I respect him a lot. Um, and he feels this needs to be met with legal action in order to act as a deterrent against this sort of thing happening again. Dbrand and Zach are releasing a new X-ray skin to help fund the legal costs, and Zach vows to use any money awarded to continue to invest in capacity as wheelchair manufacturing business. Super cool. Following the accusation, uh, Casetify has delisted their inside out which are not teardown uh, cases from their website. And further, according to the LTT subreddit, woo, let's go. Uh, case Defy's X ray case appears to have originated from iFix. Are you kidding me? You didn't know about this? No. That's why I made the iFixit comment. That is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. iFixit has responded as well. By the oh, way. what'd they say? Uh, I've got it on my screen right now. Let's okay. Jump over here. All right. What do we got? Dear Case Defy, using stolen x rays of phone internals doesn't make you a tech genius. It makes you a copycat. Nice. Nice. Oh, freaking roasted. And D Brand has the, the, the GIF showing the, the image flip. No way. Yep. Man. Now, to be clear, if you were to x-ray the same phone, you would obviously end up with a very similar image. Yeah. But the thing is, that's not similar. It's exactly the same. That's identical. And it's under the wrong phone, right? And you could have, you could have differences that are caused by a slightly different positioning of the phone. You could have differences that are caused, well, most mostly, oh, you could have differences that are caused by uh, the x-ray machine that you're using. Um, there's no way that, that two separate shots would have exactly the same settings applied to them. Like there's, there's some pretty the shading might even be a little bit different. Like it's, it's an exact copy. It's too similar. 
Oh man, this might just man, this might be just the tip of the iceberg here. Um, one Twitter user, apparently in Iran, reports that he bought another teardown ripoff from Mahout Leather, who are apparently the largest phone skin company in the country. I would say good luck going after Mahout Leather compared to yeah. going after Case Defy. Where's Case Defy based? Uh, what is his name? My Rail. I mean, compared to D Brand, they're not based at all, but. Uh, hey, got him. Hey, got <laughs> my rail and float plane chat said it's not identical to iFixit. iFixit has a better quality image. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's identical in intent. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yeah, I mean, I got, I, I got to tell you guys, like we've, we've, um, we've looked into getting X-ray scans of devices before, oh, yeah. and the the equipment is not cheap. No. You are making a significant investment in order to in order to obtain that imagery, and if someone's just taking it from you, that's not cool. Uh, so yeah, where are these guys? Where are these guys located? Um, the contact page doesn't have it, which is never a good sign. Uh, returns and exchanges. Maybe they have uh, an address. Quick links. Affiliate program. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, okay. What are you looking for on their site? Oh, here we go. Uh, founded October 1st, 2011, Hong Kong. A thousand employees? Whew, wow. That's, uh, well, um, good luck with that, Case Defy. I think that I, I actually have no idea what the difficulties will be like of going after an overseas company like Case Defy. Uh, being in Hong Kong, I don't know, it could be, there could be some challenges, but I'm sure this is something that <coughs> dbrand has considered. And realistically, um, I think that they end up with a huge W here regardless, because this has yes. generated a ton of buzz. I think it has created a lot of conversation around the legitimate innovation that dbrand does in the space that I think people don't necessarily properly respect when there are so many well, it's kind of the same thing. Products that exist, you know, everywhere from Iran to Hong Kong to Canada. Did I mention D brand? Our Canadian boys? Yeah. Have, have I mentioned that? Did yeah. I mention that? Okay. All right. Well, we've mentioned that now. <laughs> um, and and so I think that I think they come out of this looking like the innovators that they are. I think they come out of this uh, looking like the good guys. Um, you know, doing the work. That's something that I think anybody can respect. Stealing the work. I think is a lot harder to respect doing the work like, okay, I mean, look at all the controversy around React content, for example. Some people are going to defend it, but I think most people have kind of shifted their mindset to that. If you are especially not contributing anything back to the original creator, you're basically just a freeloader. Um, whereas I don't think there has ever been any question that the original creators of the content being reacted to should not be respected. If you do the work, you deserve the respect, and I think that's uh, that's something where Dbrand comes away looking really good as well. Um, I think it's I think it's someone in full plane chat. Uh, yeah, Mycin, Mikan, not sure. Says yeah. Casetify has an NA branch, North America branch, with the Ooh. company uh, which is located in LA. Okay, that <clears throat> makes it a that's go afterable. Yeah, that um, makes also, it a lot easier to go after. Not not that they should necessarily knee jerk, although the it looks pretty clear, but we'll still see over time. Um, but they, they do a lot of collaborations, not just with influencers. They do collaborations with influencers. If you scroll down on Case Defy's website, Kylie Jenner, Joe Jonas, and uh, Lauren. Um, and then if you go up here, brands. Disney, Harry Potter, Disney. I don't know if... Taylor I mean, Moon is Disney or not, more Disney. Do you know for sure that they just didn't go to Disney.com and download that logo? They do have two of the same logo. <laughs> this, is, this is not an infinitely <laughs> scrolling list. I can't press the right arrow. This, <laughs> they have Disney Princess twice. <laughs> what about second Disney Princess? Do they have anything else twice? <gasps> no. <I> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> At first I assumed it was just like a carousel, but it's... <laughs> okay, wow. so what you're saying is this is a pattern of jank. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, but yeah, no. Marvel, Disney, Evangelion, like there's there's quite the range here. Um, yeah, I gotta wonder what One Piece, what partners think of this if this if this registers for them. Like I, I wouldn't want my brand anywhere near someone that was being sued for such a, a blatant. Um, 
such for for such blatant copyright infringement, especially on someone like Disney. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I don't care, uh, but maybe I do. I think I could be wrong here, but I think Disney has pulled out of stuff in the past. Um, I have vague memories, but I don't remember what. So I'm not sure if it's real or not. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's always interesting to see what happens around these situations. Obviously, you want to wait to see like. Is it legit? Looks pretty, you know, open and close on this one, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, kind of rough. Literally having like the brand specific things on the product is like. <laughs> it's not a good look. I don't, I don't know how you make it out of that one. <laughs> now, I got to be honest with you. Ugh. I've known about this for a while and it's uh, been pretty hard for me to like. Just sit on it. Yeah, just be like sitting on it, waiting to wa waiting waiting for it to drop. But obviously, this is this is Zach's and D Brand's party. Uh, they needed to be the ones to to break the news. And yeah. I thought that Zach did a great job of the video. Mm -hmm. Have you watched it by any chance? I skimmed it very quickly. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've I don't blame you. He, he, he. It had kind of a slow and plodding pace, but you can tell that that was the intent. Mm -hmm. If you watch the whole thing, which I have up until 11 and a half minutes when I, as Austin Evans calls it, smelled blood in the water and realized the video was over, so I, I jumped off of it. Yeah. But I, I watched the first 11 and a half minutes or whatever it was, and, you know, it's not tailored to me. Like, he, there's certain points that he makes three times. Um, and I, I prefer points to be made one time, and I prefer people to talk a little bit faster. But what he did was he laid it out in such a way that if you sit there and dedicate 11 and a half minutes <clears throat> of your time, you will come away understanding his point, understanding his point of view. I think clearly recognizing that he is not the aggressor in this situation. This is not because he's just like, a, you know, a lawsuit happy American or anything like that. That is that is not the impression that I get either from the video or more importantly, from my personal interactions with yeah, Zach. Yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. that's something he conveyed really well in the video. And I think you come away with a really clear understanding of how black and white this situation is. If his video is anything but a completely just out to lunch fabrication, it's bad. I think for the Case wombo and it's combo, and it's not. It's clearly not. I think the wombo combo is really good. Like his thumbnail yeah. is killer. First oh, yeah. of all, oh, yeah. absolutely killer. He looks like a Chad, and the big like robbed. Well, he always in, looks like in that. Just fully blacked out text <laughs> behind him is like. Just fantastic thumbnail. Brings you in, but then the video isn't like this crazy, bloodthirsty hype fest. No. It's no. factual. Yep. It's controlled. Yep. And that's like, I, I think that combination was very, very good. Anyways, anything else to say on the topic? No, not really. I, um, I think overall we've been... Overall, we've we've been seeing a lot of creator support for Dbrand. They actually messaged me that a handful of creators have already talked about this on stream. Apparently, um, let, let me have a look here. I don't want to get this wrong. I know Ludwig was in the list of people that have talked about it. Um, XQC apparently talked about it. Moist Critical talked about it. So. Show the thumbnail. Go watch the video. You'll see the yeah, thumbnail go, that way. No. Do we, does this look like a React channel to you? <laughs> Here, no, actually, let, here, I got, I got to grab a snack. You want to hit the bathroom? Let's yeah. just put on, we'll yeah, put yeah. on Zach's video. We'll Chair just, stream it? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just peace for a little bit. No, yeah. that's not how this works, guys. You got to go, you got to go watch the video. Dean asks, if Casetify sponsored you to wrap the Taycan, would you still stick with Warzone? If Casetify sponsored me to wrap the Taycan, trying to think, I'm trying to think. Would I do it to make D brand actually mad? <laughs> I, I, I so, feel like that would be like a too far situation. The easiest thing well, about I it. I wouldn't take their money. I wouldn't take their money. <coughs> but I could see negotiating something where I have like a case to five skin. In like in the, in the case to five version of the x-ray. And then I tell D brand, 
here's a sponsorship opportunity. I will crush the Thai can <laughs> in the case of ice skin or something like that. Like that's the kind of wild <laughs> shit that they would go crazy for. Yeah, yeah, that lines up. I, I think, do not actually. wish to crush my Thai can. We don't have like kind of that that sort of wasteful approach to our content. That's the only scenario where I could see wrapping the Thai can in a case to Thai skin is to like is as part of an elaborate troll or something like that. Like we've worked with dbrand since basically day zero of dbrand. Um, we were one of their first partners. They were one of our first partners and we, we rib each other hard, but um, you know, there's, there's mutual respect there. So yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think that if we were to, if we were to, to, to sell out that relationship, like business is about more than just money guys. If we were to sell out that relationship for a few bucks, um, I think that would say a lot about me. Um, I think that would say a lot about our company. I think that would say a lot about um, our... Y'all have been through some stuff at this point. Yeah. Yeah.